This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10, and I'm going to show you how to solve Graham's Law of Effusion Problems. Here's a sample problem. A gas effuses through an opening at a rate one-third as fast as that of helium gas. What is the molar mass of the unknown gas? We have to know Graham's Law of Effusion to solve this. Graham's Law says that the rates of effusion of two gases are inversely proportional to the square roots of their molar masses at the same temperature and pressure. In other words, the rate of effusion of gas 1 divided by the rate of effusion of gas 2 is equal to the square root of the molar mass of gas 2 divided by the molar mass of gas 1. In a more qualitative way, we can say that the lighter gas will have a greater speed, a greater rate of effusion than a heavier gas. Effusion, if you recall, is the movement of only one type of gas particles through a hole, whereas diffusion is the movement of particles from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. So let's go back to our problem. A gas effuses through an opening at a rate one-third as fast as that of helium gas. What is the molar mass of the unknown gas? So here is our equation. The rate of effusion of gas 1 divided by the rate of effusion of gas 2 is equal to the square root of the molar mass of gas 2 over the molar mass of gas 1. Since my unknown gas, um, well I know one of my gases is helium, if I'm going to solve for the molar mass of an unknown gas, I sort of prefer that answer to be in the numerator. So I sort of let that unknown gas be m2, and then I'm going to let my known gas, helium, be m1. And the molar mass of helium is approximately 4.00 grams per mole. So setting up our problem, if the rate of effusion of gas 1 helium is x, we know that our unknown gas has a rate of one-third of x. It's one-third as fast as x. So I'm going to say the rate of effusion of helium is x, then the rate of effusion of gas 2 is one-third of x. And that's going to equal the square root of the molar mass of our unknown divided by the molar mass of helium, which is 4.0 grams per mole. And notice how the x's cancel out. So now we have 1 divided by 1 third is equal to the square root of the molar mass of the second gas divided by the molar mass of helium. 1 divided by 1 third is the same thing as 3. So we have 3 is equal to the square root of the molar mass of our unknown gas divided by the molar mass of helium. To solve this problem, we're going to need to get rid of that square root. So what we're going to do is we're going to square it. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So when we square each side, 3 squared is equal to 9, and we get our um, our molar mass of, of gas 2 outside of the square root. So we know that 9 is equal to the, our unknown molar mass divided by the molar mass of helium, 4.0 grams per mole. So to solve for the molar mass of our unknown, m2 is equal to 9 times 4.0 grams per mole, which is equal to 36 grams per mole. That is the molar mass of our unknown gas. Since it is heavier than helium, which is only 4 grams per mole, it should move at a slower rate than helium, which it does. It moves at one-third as fast as, that, as, as the rate of helium gas. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry help, go to chemintend.com, and I'll also give you a, a free copy of my Amazon.com best-selling book, Solving Mole Problems. This is Melanie Fine of Chemintend.